Look, man, I'm not having this fucking argument again. Blackjacks are way better, dude. They're a little bit heavy, but they're easy to swing. But why would you buy one when you could just use a sock full of nickels? They're basically the same thing. Dude, a sock full of nickels? Have you ever used a sock full of nickels, man? They're not easy to swing at all, and they're heavy, and they're a waste. You gotta start fucking windmilling and shit, and then you start throwing your hands. It's just a waste, man. Have you seen mall rats? Case closed. Fabulous. You're basing a real life situation on a Kevin Smith movie? What's next? Are you going to explain regional economic policies based off the road warrior? You're making me sound like a nut when you put it like that. All I'm trying to say is that swinging a sock isn't easy. I gave you a visual example. Now look at this. Mr. Motherfucking Justice, bitch. It's got a fucking strap and all that shit. It'll fuck you up. You get some little tap behind the head and they're out for the night. I can't believe you're still fighting me about this. What have you got? The Widowmaker. I used to climb and my schedule doesn't give me time anymore. So now, I use this so I don't have to go out and pay for brass knuckles. It's purple. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing, never mind. Yeah, that's what I thought. Look, you've been riding me all afternoon. What the fuck is your problem, man? Like, is it because Jillian dumped your ass? She didn't dump, dump me. You just thought it was time to end it. Dude, she totally dumped your ass. Fuck you. Whatever, she did. She, fine, it was a mutual separation. She's going out with this new guy. He's from a bowling team. Richard. I think he's Scottish. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a total dick. Yeah, a uh, fucking dick. You know, you can show some more interest in my problem. Remember the time you were going out with Doris and I came to your house? I found you in the bathtub, crying. I held your hand for hours. I told you would never fucking talk about that again! Alright, take it easy, man. I was upset, man, it was two years! You're trying to prove a point. Fuck that. How's your mom? Dead. Oh, oh. Get out of here. I'm going on a date. I'm going on a date. I'm going on a date, and boy, it's gonna be great. And what are you so happy about, bucko? You know what? I'm going on a date, buddy. And guess what else? It's a lunch date, which means I pass second and I'm rounding for third base. Oh. <laughs> so you skip the coffee date. Are you gonna go straight to bed with her or something? Why don't you just get it over with, man? Get divorced. I mean, you know you're not gonna do anything anyway. Dump her now. Cut your losses. Now why the fuck would I do that, boy? Ah, you always do. You're a fuck up, buddy. You get in a relationship, and just when it gets heated up, ah, goes to hell. You should dump her right now. You know what? I'm not gonna take this anymore. I'm gonna go meet my lady, and you can go to hell. I'm not listening to this again. Hey, <laughs> well that's funny. Why don't you just plug your ears and it'll all go away, right boy? <laughs> you bastard. Yeah, yeah, I I'm a real son of a bitch. <laughs> I know all about it. You know, I'm not gonna fuck it up this time. I mean, I had a good feeling about this one. This lady's hot and I tell you, it's gonna go good. Yeah, yeah, you had a good feeling about the last one too. Uh, look how good that turned out, huh, son of a bitch? <laughs> That wasn't my fault. I mean, come on. She threw, she threw like a fondue knife at the waiter. I mean, what was I supposed to do? I mean, come on. Ah, that doesn't mean anything. She threw hot cheese at the waiter for no reason. <laughs> I would have too. He tried to serve a red wine with fish. Oh, okay. So now my alternate personality is a food critic now. No, no, no. I, I just have a sense of style. Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't have worn that shirt. <laughs> What's wrong with this shirt? <laughs> Boy, if you have to ask, you'll never know. <laughs> I'm not listening to this, man. Man, oh man, I must be losing my mind. Now my subconscious is channeling what not to wear. Well, Stacey London is pretty hot and all, but damn, I got a problem, man. Hey, look, 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 man. I got as much at stake here as you do. I mean, seriously, I mean, I wanna get laid. I mean, shit, I wanna get laid as much as you do, boy. Well, you got a damn funny way of showing it, don't you? I mean, you always talk like this. It's like you don't want me to get meet any women or something. I mean, uh, you're not one of those now, are you? No, 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 man. I I'm just picky, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you better not be picking for the wrong team, you know what I'm saying, buddy? I mean, come on.
Uh, so what should I order? Well, let me tell you, boy. I mean, you can't go wrong with a green salad and like a Montreal smoked salmon sandwich. I mean, damn, that's the meat sandwich, boy. I bet you'd order the meat sandwich. Uh, what? 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 Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, that's right, nothing. Oh, shit, boy, you're talking to yourself right now, you know? Yeah. Anyway, uh, what's her name? Just so I know, right? I mean, when I'm down there, I want to know who I'm going to talk to, right? Oh, her name's Jillian. Uh, she's a film director, a beautiful girl, uh, real nice. I mean, uh, you'll be happy when, uh, you know, later on we get her on. Well, good for you, a film director too. Shit, man, let's make some movies. Yeah! Okay, come on, man.